Hmm. Hey soul friends, soul fam, it's Marie and welcome into another reading for my Sagittarius family. I hope you are doing well and staying safe. Please do check your sun, moon, rising and Venus signs if you would like more clarification. Remember the energies can be reversed and keep in mind that this is a general reading so it may or may not resonate for you. But if it does, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to our soul family and talk to me down in the comments because I love hearing from you and we are not strangers here. We are soul friends, soul fam. All right, Sag, the overall love energy between you and the person that you are dealing with right now is the Nine of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Seven of Cups. So right away, this lets me know that you are in this energy with someone of either they're constantly thinking about you, I mean, obsessively thinking about you, restlessly thinking about you, but choosing to distract themselves from that obsessive thoughts from that rumination by pouring themselves into work, um, distracting themselves with work, with a hobby, with just being productive so that they don't have to think about you. This is also someone who could possibly be keeping their options open, looking out into the world and trying to distract themselves by or with other people. But at the end of the day, it's a constant cycle of at night you know that you're in their dreams and they're thinking about you and then during the day they stay super super focused so that they don't have to think about you so that they get a break from you constantly being on their minds remember this could be vice versa but this is someone who has some sort of a regret i'm feeling of whatever happened between the two of you and they're trying to move on or distract themselves from expressing their feelings and or confronting the true feelings that they have for you okay moving on to your energy towards them we have the nine of pentacles the three of swords judgment two of cups and the empress so you're in this energy of like i'm great i'm i'm amazing i'm wonderful i don't need anyone i'm single i am enjoying where i am in life with the people that i have in my life i'm in a new relationship possibly that's another possibility for some of you saggies but i'm just enjoying that but then at the same time you're in this cycle of hurt so it's like <laughs> you still have swords in your heart and pain in your heart towards this situation with this person and you you fluctuate in a way of okay i'm over it but am i have i made up my decision am i truly over it do i want to try one more time do i want to actually try to meet on common ground and have a conversation two of cups could be connecting with a cancer scorpio we also have libra energy and air and a little bit of earth okay but you're in that in that energy of should i should I not? And then at the end of the day, ultimately kind of just deciding to put them on the back burner and pour into what's important to you or things that you've been neglecting, which is probably yourself, okay? Their energy towards you right now is the five of cups. So they're regretful, like I said in the beginning. They're more regretful than you are of the situation. I think that you're just, you still feel pain towards whatever happened. But this person is more of like, they actually feel regret for whatever happened between the two of you, how the situation actually turned out between the two of you. But at the same time, this person has chose to keep you out of their lives, to block you, to not allow access, access to them, okay? Then we have the 10 of cups. So they're in this back and forth energy too of like, okay, I don't want to talk to you. I'm regretful, but I don't want to talk to you. But I also kind of want to be with you. It's, it's a little bit of a mess, a little, <laughs> a little bit like this is a little weird. See, and then we have the, five, the seven of wands where it's like, okay, it's too much work. I don't even want to do this. I can put down roots somewhere else. Oh, and then the six of pentacles, which is maybe I want to give to this one more time. Maybe. So they're also in this energy of, should I stay in the dark? Should I not stay in the dark? Should I confront the situation, the high priestess? This is Virgo energy. 
Should I stay in the dark? Should I not stay in the dark? They're reminiscing about you though with the Six of Cups. This is remin reminiscent. This is someone who's possibly considering a reconciliation, but they're constantly back and forth in their own mind about the situation. Possibly because they think that it's just too toxic. They're feeling like, okay, this is too toxic. It's too dramatic. I don't need this in my life. I'm good. At the same time, they still feel this pull towards you, this tie towards you. They're feeling like, okay, is it done? Is it over? Should I keep my silence? Should I keep being absent? Should I keep being a ghost in this situation and not actually come back around? So yeah, this person is like stuck. They're really, really confused about what to do moving forward. And I think that although you go back and forth about, you know, whether or not you want to pour into the situation again with this person, or just continue to pour into yourself. This person has more of a regretful demeanor than you do, which is interesting. Like they think one minute they're like, it's done, it's over, et cetera, et cetera. And then the next minute they're like, well, I kind of want to pour into it a little bit more. We have the six of wands on the bottom of the deck. That's ego energy. So there is a lot of ego playing here. A lot of someone just not wanting to put down their ego, all right? The cards that we have here, your oracle cards, heart-to-heart -heart conversations, religion and spirituality, make the effort. Yeah, someone here is not making any effort. Um, stay optimistic, true love. Let's see what else. We have interference. So this could have been a third-party situation, which is why there's so much back and forth. We also have the seven of cups, which is indicative of someone having multiple options looking at all of their options and not wanting to really commit this person though i mean they're like trying so hard to keep you off of their mind i think that they really do still have a lot of love here for you obsession someone is obsessed and like gripped by obsessive thoughts finances so someone here is really focusing on their finances they're choosing to keep their focus away from love away from the pain away from you and it could be both ways. Like you could be doing the same thing that they're doing. Okay. But someone is not being honest with themselves. Straight up. Both of you have feelings. Their feelings are just, it's, it's so wishy-washy. But their feelings to me are so much more concrete when they do think about you. They're like, no, I want the end all be all with the 10 of, with the 10 of cups. But then I don't want anything to do with this. But then I regret the situation. But then... You know, I still can't stop thinking about you. I'm reminiscing about the past. Um, they're so back and forth. Someone here just doesn't want to put in that work. We have comfy in the comfort zone. So that could have been a problem when you guys were together. Like someone just wasn't willing to put in that work for the relationship. They didn't want to be uncomfortable. They didn't want to change. Insecurity. So someone here could be a bit insecure with the Eight of Swords card here. And then we have selfish and self-centered. But we're going to dive deeper into this because what the hell <laughs> what the actual hell all right looking into how they feel about you Sagittarius how do they feel towards you how does this person freak okay <laughs> two of pentacles king of swords they're up in the air Like I said, with the two, see, let me show you. With the two of pentacles, and then we have the king of swords. So this is earth energy, air energy. Their feelings for you are constantly changing. And they feel this need to just be distant from you, to cut you off, to be cold towards you. For some reason, they just feel this. Like they can't come forward, they can't share, they can't be themselves. And it's a constant tug of war with them. Let's see. Anything. See the temperance card. They want to reconcile though. This is someone who wants to heal. And I think that might be the problem is that they, they're so busy distracting themselves from actually healing and working on whatever caused this to not work that it's it's like it's causing the separation between the two of you to last longer than it actually needs to last because someone here just isn't willing to get out get off their ass 
and put in the work with themselves and with you to make this actually a reality. Okay, what else? How else do they feel? The moon card. So they're hiding their emotions, like I said, keeping them under the surface, but they're a part of them is like, no, I want to bring them out into the light. I don't want I don't want to be away from Sag. I want to be with you. And this card keeps staying on the bottom of the deck with the Knight of Wands. They feel very passionate towards you. This is someone who feels a lot of sexual attraction towards you, a lot of passion, and they want to run towards you, but they are choosing not to. They're choosing to just sit, to sit and do nothing and put this act out. Like they're acting like they don't care. They're acting cold and it's all an act. None of this is real because they can't even like go to bed at night without you on their mind. You are constantly in this person's mind and they're probably talking about you to be honest with you. Like any excuse to bring you up in conversation, they're probably doing it, okay? Why the Knight of Wands for how they feel? Why the Knight of Wands and the Moon card? Could be connecting with a Pisces as well. So this is someone who feels wronged. Even if you didn't wrong them in the situation, why are they keeping their emotions away from you? The, the Justice card. So this is someone who just feels like they didn't get what they deserved out of the situation. So they don't need to be the one to come back and make anything work. Like they might feel as though you need to be the one to do the work instead. Okay. Anything else for how they feel? It's just, they're so back and forth, the world card. So this is someone who wants to complete something. Oh my God, just make up your mind. Like figure out who you are and what you want and then go, go after that. Like stop pretending to be someone you're not. You have emotions. We have the world card. This is any sign. They, mm, this person is irritating me. They're irritating me already. <laughs> the Queen of Cups, overflowing with emotions, overflowing with love, overflowing with care for you, with, I mean, they think about you. They think about the past. They think about how things were with you. And yet they're just like, no, I'm good. I don't need anybody, bitch. Who are you trying to play? Like, who are you trying to fool? This person is trying so hard to hold tightly to this image of not needing you, being fine without you. But the reality is, oh, I'm just, <laughs> I, I can't. The reality is that this person is sprung. Like they are obsessed. They're so obsessed. There's no way. They're so obsessed. How do you feel towards this person? I need, I need to know. I need to know. They're going to have like an aneurysm with all of this that they're fucking trying to keep up with. The strength card. So you still have a lot of passion towards this person too. It could be a Leo that you're dealing with. You still have a lot of passion towards this person. Let's see what else. But yeah, you still you, you feel like it's better to cut the situation off. Possibly because someone here might have like been a manipulator or feeling this need to manipulate the situation um, in order to like have the upper hand. I just heard that for a small portion of you. Yeah, you feel like you need to cut this person off. You have two sword cards here. So you feel this need to be away from this person. Although the passion is still there, why? The magician. So you might feel like this person was toxic. Hold on. Let's see. Why the ace of swords and the queen of swords? Okay, so you're in protective mode, Sagittarius. Like you're you're trying to protect yourself. Build your ego back up. Protect yourself. I feel like we have that card over there that said not being honest with yourself or others. So I think because on the bottom of the deck we have the seven of swords. So you might have felt like this person isn't being wasn't being honest with you when you were dealing with each other. Which, I mean, this person isn't even being honest with themselves even after you were gone. Like, even after you, they still can't be fucking honest. And it's really annoying. I'm like, yo, if you have feelings, say that. Say that shit. Like, it doesn't matter. It's just, like, it doesn't matter what's going to come of it. 
Just fucking say that shit so you can get it out of your system and you can move on. If you're constantly in this energy of like, oh, should I or should I not? Like, just do that shit. So then you can get the reaction from the other person and you can move the fuck on with your life. But this constant back and forth, pretending to be something you're not, pushing feelings down, like you're going to fucking explode. Like you're going to, I just, I can't, I just can't. But you feel like you need to be in protective mode, probably because honesty was lost, trust was lost. Um, there might have been some manipulation and deception here. And I honestly don't blame you. This person is giving me a headache and I don't even, I've only been with them for like, you know, 16 minutes. <laughs> I can't. All right. Why is there no communication from this person? Why is there no communication from this person? There. Oh, okay. Ah. <laughs> uh. They don't not want to be in communication right now. If this person is not talking to you, trust me, it's not because they don't want to talk to you. This person has problems, serious problems. Like they want, they want love with you, but they're denying the fact that they want this love. Stop denying, oh my God. It's like regret and denial and then regret and denial. And then like maybe, maybe, maybe I'll contact Sagittarius, maybe. And then they go right back to denial. No, I don't need them. I'm good without them. It's like, no, clearly you're not. Clearly, Sag was, was, your, was your everything. Clearly, they were your golden ticket. And you lost, you lost your golden ticket and you're losing your shit. You lost it. They're losing it. They don't know what to do without you, like for real. And it's, oh my God, okay. So they're just they're playing games and what's inter what's so funny is that they're playing games with themselves like if you're not even around this person they're playing they just played themselves like they completely played themselves oh okay what do they want what do they want what does this person want all right, so they want something long term. The only thing is they're going to be slow about even coming forward. They're slow moving right now. They do want something with you, but I don't like I don't know if like how long it would take them to come forward because they need some help. <laughs> like they need oh they need to talk to someone. They have some problems. Um, I want to know about. Okay, let's. Just, I need. I just need a break from this person really quick. What about new love? New love coming in for Sag. For the love of God, new love. Please, please. All right, the King of Wands. So you could be connecting with a fire sign soon. Let's see. All right. Anything else for new love? The, okay, so this could be fire, air, earth. This is someone who's going to be talking about you for a while before they actually come in to your life. So they'll probably be watching you and like in your circle or in your environment. And they'll be talking about you before they actually come in. This is someone who's going to be pretty, um, I would say they're going to, they're going to have boss energy and absolutely know what they want and where they're going. And they're going to have their shit together. Unlike whoever you, this person is, because they like, I just, they're giving me a headache and I don't, I, I, if you cut this person off, I just want to let you know, Sagittarius, you did the right thing. If they come back around, they will do it after they figure their mental health out because they don't, oh, they're a mess. This is a mess. This is a mess. What's what's stopping um, this connection with this person from moving forward besides the fact that they're batshit crazy? What's stopping this connection from moving forward? 
the Ace of Cups, someone just not wanting to talk about their emotions. So, I mean, I don't think it's you at this point, just from all of the cards. So it's really them not being honest about how they feel, which is, I mean, I've been saying that from the beginning. Um, I just honestly, like, my thing is, why don't people just be honest? Like, hey, I like you. Okay, I don't like you. All right, I can move on with my life. Like, or hey, I like you. I like you too. Okay, let's be together or try to make something work. It's really that simple. Like, if you want something in life, go get that shit. If you miss someone, fucking tell them. Life it does not have to be this complicated. And I feel so bad for this person, to be honest with you, just because of the games that they're playing with themselves and the stress that they're inflicting on themselves about you. I don't know what you did to this person, but they will never be the same. They will never be the same after you. You fucking, ugh. You made this person absolutely mental. Mental. All right, what's the most likely outcome between you and this person? I'm really liking that new love, though. That new love is looking real nice. Most likely outcome between you and this crazy person. Come on. Okay. Yeah, I see that you're going to walk away from the situation. Yeah. I think you're going to walk away from the situation and you're going to choose love with someone who can give you the love that you deserve. The hero font could be a Taurus as well. Coming in for new love. Sagittarius, focus on new love. Everyone from your past, they're going to regret your flower child, beautiful energy. And this person wants to lick you up and down and drink you from a wine glass and love you in ways you've never been loved because they can't have you. And you should just leave it like that because they, they should have loved you when they were with you. All right, that is all I have for my Sag fam. Make sure to smash that thumbs up button and subscribe to our soul family if you haven't already. Thank you so, so much for watching. I love you. Stay safe, balanced, and healthy. And as always, I will see you in the next one. All right, bye-bye.